This podcast will teach you how to do a ray diagram for an object which is located between the focal length and twice the focal length. Notice our focal length is 8 centimeters. Our object distance is 12 centimeters. And the ray diagram is done exactly like it is for a ray diagram outside of 2F. But let's watch what happens to the uh, change in the placement of our image when we do this. Uh, again, we take a ray which is drawn parallel to the principal axis and a ray drawn parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focal point on the opposite side. Again, a ray which would pass through the focal point on the near side of the lens will come out of the lens parallel to the principal axis. And again, a ray which would be drawn straight through the center of the lens would pass through the lens undiverged, uh, just like that. So in this case, this locates our image, our image of our candle flame. Uh, tip of our candle flame will be right there. So the candle will look like this. And uh, again, we're going to have an inverted image. It's going to be real because light actually converges there. But what we see in this case is that the image is going to be magnified. So um, in order to do the math, we would uh, use exactly the same formula as we did in the last case. So we're going to have 1 over P plus 1 over Q equals 1 over the focal length. Um, in this case, we would have 1 over 12 centimeters equals oh, plus 1 over Q equals 1 over 8 centimeters. Solving for 1 over Q um, and doing that with your calculator, you'd end up with 1, uh, 0.0536. And you'd find out that when you invert that, Q is equal to 18.7 centimeters. Let's see what we've got. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, 18. Uh, not too bad. OK, pretty close. Now, uh, to find the magnification, then we're going to have negative Q over P. So we would take negative uh, 18.7 centimeters divided by, uh, what do we have here? Um, for P, it was 12 centimeters. That works out to approximately 1.5, negative 1.5. So we can see that the negative sign shows us that the image is inverted again, and this time it's magnified by approximately a uh, factor of 1.5. And that's how you locate an image and do the math for an object located between the focal length and twice the focal length.